Hey guys, so this is something that I want to talk to you. It's very important to understand uh, about the forehand uh, that we have on the video. Okay, there is one, the, the, the thing that we're talking about on the, the double pendulum, the kinetic uh, force of the double pendulum is something that works in, in, in round strokes. Is like, if we have the racket, if, if, I, if I go with my arm like this, this is a pendulum and most of the speed is gonna be at the end of that, of my arm, okay, which will be my hand. Okay, now, if I use a racket like that, the speed that I'm gonna generate in that double pendulum, the highest speed is gonna be at the tip of the racket, at the end. That's why when, when you hit that forehand, you wanna make sure that you lag. Why? Because that lag between, that, that, that position between the arm and the racket, that's a double pendulum that is gonna create the speed uh, in the head of the racket. Now, if you have, if you have a double pendulum at the end, at the end of the pendulum, which is the tip of the racket here, this is where you create more speed. Now, if you use, if you use the lagging of the racket with the arm, and then you also add your, the rotation of your body, that's like having a triple pendulum. So you have, if you have a pendulum that consists, instead of two parts, consists of three parts, that third part is gaining even more speed. You know, so all three parts are working for it. So you wanna make sure when you, that's, that's the reason why. We don't just swing with the arm. We, we go with the hips and the legs, the core. See, and that's, what, that's what's gonna help you create more speed at the, at, the end, at the end of the pendulum, which in this case is being the, 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 the head of the racket. Now, one thing that is very important that um, you need to know on the, on, in, in order to hit the ball hard is that a lot of my students, especially when they're kids, they, they brush the ball and they use the, they use the wrist to brush the ball. Okay, they let the racket go down and up, but they use the wrist too much. You don't want to use the wrist that much to brush. The wrist is going to be more steady, especially when you hit the ball hard, steady, firm. Why? Because you're already generating power with the pendulum. You don't need to generate anything else with the wrist. The wrist moving at high speed is going to destroy your, your round strokes, volleys, anything. Anything you, when you move fast and you use wrist or hinges, is, you're much more prone to mishit the ball. So you want to pay attention that when you make contact, when you make contact with the ball, instead of instead of hitting and using and using the wrist there, you do you allow the wrist to relax to rotate like a doorknob, like the doorknob here. But if you notice, I'm not really using any wrist like that. You don't want it to get wristy because that's when you're gonna start losing control of the shot. So, so when when you hit when you hit that forehand hard, you're gonna you're gonna lag and you're gonna keep the wrist steady in order to keep the control of the ball. So that's what keeping that wrist steady. The wrist you allow it. The way to, I explain it to the little kids is that you 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 relax the wrist, but only it's, it's not it to rotate like a doorknob not to not not to tap if you have a doorknob you wanna you wanna rotate the wrist you don't wanna tap it because when you tap it is when we hit it like a clock hand the wrist is changing positions and the shot is gonna be all over the way no brush it don't tap it ever ever tap it you we use it for the serve sometimes we use it for the for the overheads and things like that but when you're hitting your ground strokes and you allow your wrist to move more in that direction instead of going more like a doorknob and steadier that's when you are going to start losing control so remember relax the arm and you want to relax it the, the wrist when you're lagging so your racket creates a good angle here when you when you're bringing it forward when you're leading with the butt cap and you're gonna create, and you're gonna create more speed on the head of the racket. But don't let the wrist, don't let the wrist work in a way that is gonna be tapping the doorknob bottom. All right. Okay, guys. Well, I hope I hope it helps, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.